as I suggest in this video is a little bit graphic but I want to show you guys a video I've been promising for a while this will be pro tips on removing a hard belly from a hatchling and I just did it to this is a, a little female um, g-stripe red stripe g-stripe actually really beautiful but she had this hard belly and it was actually a, a relatively small mass and she was a small baby on top of it but we was able to push out the cloaca very gently you see the, the kind of the void left here it's kind of hollow looking but did not tear the cloaca at all it's a little extended there but but um but okay so I'm going to do this again there's another hatchling in the clutch who also has a hard belly I'm going to see if I can get the hard belly out on camera and uh, as long as it doesn't go horribly wrong I'll share this video with you Okay, so this is the this, the other um, snake here with a hard belly, and this is a red stripe, 66% hat G stripe. And you see here the belly is very distended, and how you know it has a hard belly is that you'll have a having a, a swollen belly like that is not uncommon for a hatching after it absorbs its yolk, but you'll feel that there's a hard mass. You'll feel it instead of feeling just squishiness, you'll feel like a hard like marble, or it's usually more elongated than a marble. You'll feel like a like a, an oval in there that's that's tough and you can kind of wiggle it back and forth inside the belly now if you don't um, try to remove it what will happen is in the next week or two over the next week or two it'll harden and after a while this entire belly will become ex extremely hard to where it's not pliable at all and there's nothing you can do at that point the animal will die uh, the animal will absolutely die in the situation without um, some kind of uh, intervention so we're going to do, and this hard belly is not particularly large mass in there that gives me hope that we'll be able to push it out. But basically when I take them, I'm going to slowly move the mass towards the cloaca by just by squeezing up, not in like a tube of toothpaste. Now there's kind of a second one here that's more soft. I'm not sure if I'm going to work on that one or not, but this main one is what I'm concerned about. So I push it back and I keep my thumb here to keep it from sliding back forward towards the, towards the head of the snake. And I'm just going to slowly move it down. Really, the trick on these is to go slowly. If you go really quickly, you end up with um, with tears or or, or problems. So you have lots of time for the body, the snake's body, to react and move and uh, move the uh, obstruction down, and also to stretch to accommodate it. This is not moving as fast as I would like to see. I think what I have is a lot of. Um, urine or you know basically fluid that's that's uh, keeping me from pushing the uh, yeah. okay so you got some urine and such coming out here that's normal that's what I expect and that's going to kind of allow me to continue moving the blockage down okay we're about to start seeing it here it goes from right about there is the beginning of it to my thumb I'm going to keep pushing it down you see the snake here is pretty relaxed I, I can't imagine that it doesn't feel any pain or, or uncomfortableness but it really just doesn't uh, seem to react to this much. Okay, you see that pink, the pinkish fluid that just came out, and I know this is kind of gross, but that's a good sign. It's usually the seepage from the uh, hard belly, and there, here it is coming now. Okay, the trick is during this time is that cloaca is stretched so much, is to go real slow. And there's no reason to hurry it out. If you hurry, you're more likely to tear it. Okay, we about got the first half of it out. That's good, starting to pinch off a little bit there, get a little smaller. Okay. This is a relatively softer than I've seen as many hard bellies, partly because I'm getting to it early and not letting it sit a few days. Okay, now there's a harder mass right here below my thumb. That's what I'm a little more concerned about. Let's keep moving it real slow, kind of rocking back and forth. Here comes some more. Now, hard belly is something I see probably, you know, I hatched, 
almost, you know, probably 800 babies this year approximately, and I see it probably in around 10. You have another large spot coming through here. I'm going real slow. Try not to uh, tear that that cloaca. If it does tear, it doesn't mean you're you're all lost, but it's, it'll recover much better if you can keep that from tearing out. Okay, here it comes. There we go. And that is the full hard belly mass. Let me just feel up in here, make sure we're all empty. So a little something else in here, but I'm going to give it a few days and see if it, if it hardens or if it stays soft. I think we we'll might be okay with that right there. And so this snake now has a new lease on life. It'll actually, uh, it'll actually survive because of what we just did. And I hope it helps you guys if uh, you get a chance to uh, ever have to do this. And I hope that your snakes don't have hard bellies, but it's a part of the reality of reading ball pythons is you have issues, and this is one issue that is correctable.